Here with the iconic one, the Sierra Mattel. Hello. Hi, Nelly. How are you? What's good? We at your ball, bitch. I like, it's my first ball here. I wanted to try something new this year. Like, I wanted to just like, I come here a lot. I hang out here a lot. I walk here a lot, um, both scenes. Um, I just wanted to get back. Like, that's just my time. I feel like I'm about to get up the Kiki scene and just like work behind the scenes like I've been wanting to. And this is just a start for me, so. Period, period. If y'all also didn't know, Sierra's also a Fem Queen performance diva in the House of Prodigy. I need to see more from you in the mainstream. That's another reason why I'm taking a break from the Kiki scene. I feel like I've been walking for a long time. I, I'm in a better place. I'm more like confident and happy. So next year I got a whole lot going on for y'all. Huh? Like, I got y'all. I feel like, I don't know. I learned from like Boogie, like Buffy. I'm a bee catcher. That's what they taught me how to be. So like, that's just what it is for me. In that moment, the beat, the leg. Yeah, so, now, mind you, I just saw a clip of Sierra recently. I think this is in the Kiki scene. But she was wearing, like, all red. She grabbed somebody from the audience. Baby, and she got motherfucking busy. Oh, my God. Did you plan that? No, it was random. Girl! Hey. I'm in a creative mind right now, so it was like, what y'all are getting right now from me, from my effects, uh, everything is just really off my head. Like, I love that for you. I see you. I see you branching out into being more creative and doing photo shoots and things and expressing yourself. So, how does that feel right now? It felt great when everybody looked down on you and everybody just felt like you couldn't do something. It feels good to turn around and act. So, what do you mean by that? Everybody looks down on you. What do you mean by that? We all know I've never been scared to tell my story. Tell it. Give us a snippet. I came from a very rough place in my transition. You know, I knew you for a very long time. I came from a very rough place in my transition. I wasn't the most kindiest girl, the realest girl, the prettiest girl. Whatever you wanted to call it, I wasn't that. And I always self-identified as just like my own person, but I just always been a woman. So like the reeds and the shades and the downplays, I always hurt and I always acted like it ain't hurt my feelings. But now I just feel like, you know, I'm at a better place. It kind of helped me because they showed me who they were. So thanks, shout outs to y'all because y'all made a bad bitch. <laughs>Do you have any, what would you say to you right now, standing here, what would you say to that little girl that was just coming up, TT? who would you say to TT right now, if you could speak to her? To TT, I would say, um, you could have been more motivated, you could have, you could have been more motivated, you could have been more self-aware, you could have loved yourself more. That's where you really could have started. I could have loved myself more. So if I was to go back then, ever in time to be able to tell little TT that, that's what I would be able to say. Do you love yourself now? I adore myself. Like, what? <laughs> what? Are you looking? Look at the material. Are you like? You look good. You look fat. This is a Nelly Neon Show.